Hello. Hello. How are you guys? Good night. Well, good evening, Seal. How are you? How's everything today? The good? Okay, give me just a minute here. Okay, so guys, thank you for being here today. So um, as you guys know, actually today is the last class of this uh, level, you know? So after this, we're going to be done and then you're going to be next on, on the next level, you know? So that's that's actually pretty good, you know? All right, so let's see. Um, um, all right, so let's let's start with this right here. Hey guys, do you have any question uh, about any of the topics or anything like that? No questions? Yes, could it be? ¿Me pregunta, chicos, algún comentario? ¿Alguna confesión? Ah. <ríe> ok, no, nothing, todo bien, todo calidad. <ríe> Como dicen los señores, todo calidad. Es... <ríe> Ajá. Bueno, si alguien dice sí, no lo no, no, olviden lo que dije. <ríe> ah, so, uh, ok, just so you guys know, uh, today we are going to finish uh, the classes, you know, like, I mean, like this level. And then you are going to be, I will say that you are, if you did everything that you were supposed to do, you are going to be eligible for the next level, right? And so that's pretty much what uh, what we are doing, right? Um, okay, now, if you don't have a question or anything like that, I like to share my screen so you guys see, um, so you guys see what uh, the phrase, the phrase for today. And so the phrase for today is the following. All right, it says, well, this is the phrase right here. So let's do something. Um, Let's see who's here. Carlos Vladimir, do me a favor, Carlos. Can you just, just read the phrase? Can you just read it? Can you repeat, please? Yes. Can you read the phrase? Oh, yes, I can. Uh -huh. Try it again. Fall again and fall better. Okay. Thank you so much. Try again. Fail again. Fail better. So what do you think about that, guys? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yeah. What do you think about that? Mm -hmm. That is the phrase for today. So you have two minutes. I'm going to give you two minutes. Los van a un par de minutos ahí, chicos, para que piensen sobre su opinión. All right? Right, it says... Try, try it again, fail again, fail better. So what do you think about that, guys? What do you think the phrase is about? Lo siento, estoy un poco perdido porque me acabo de conectar. Okay, no problem. Um, so, eh, esa es la frase que vamos a, 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 a ver ahora, ¿ok? La frase de la que vamos a dar la opinión. Cualquier cosa, chicos, yo les dije dos, tres palabras en English, pero con que sea en inglés, yo le dije, o, o sea, es broma, pero no es broma. O sea, si para usted esa frase significa algo así como que tiene que ir a comprarse unas 20 pupusitas y comérselas, está bueno, dígamelo, pero dígamelo en inglés, va. <ríe> so, say it in English. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. any volunteer? Bueno, les doy un minuto más ahí para que preparen su idea.
Por do de pronúncia. Hum, tentar de novo a minha pronunciação. Uh -huh. How do you pronounce intentarlo? Okay, it's well in English you will say try, try, try. Mm -hmm. That's what it is to try. Teacher, tell me. I think it's better to try than not do it. Mm, I like that. Yes, it's better to try than not doing it, than not trying. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like that. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you. That's a very nice opinion. Anyone else? Any other opinion? Okay, Flor de Maria, tell me, what is your opinion? Mm, I like the mensas. No, mensaje. Message? Message. Mm -hmm. I like my, the message. Okay, you like the message? That's okay. That's your opinion. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Um, Joanna, tell us, what do you think? I think learning about mistake make you stronger. Mm, okay, that's a very nice one. Learning from our mistakes make us a little stronger. A little stronger, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Cool. Thank you. That's a very nice opinion. Uh huh. Anyone else? No se queden con la cana. Ya les vi, ya les vi. Okay, Nidia, tell us. <laughs> Aprovechen. <laughs> Never give up. Mm -hmm. Yep. Never give up. It doesn't matter if you're making mistakes all the time. One day you will learn from that. So never give up. Thank you, Nidia. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other opinion, guys? Mm -hmm. What do you think? What do you think? Mm -hmm. What, what, what? Mm -hmm. Anyone else? Alguien más? Okay, I got Jose Salvador. Tell me, what do you think? You have to fall, but never stay on the ground. Oh, well, that's, that's a very nice one. Yeah. You have to fall, but never stay on the ground. Like, always stand up, right? Good, good. Thank you. That's a very nice opinion. Uh-huh. In Spanish, la frase sería como trata otra vez, falla otra vez, falla mejor, right? So, like in the case when we're learning English, guys, I was there. Yo me acuerdo, yo también estuve donde ustedes están, así que a veces decimos, ay, qué difícil, que esta palabra no me sale, que se me olvida la estructura, okay? So, it's like, no, hombre, démosle, o sea, trata otra vez, Va a fallar otra vez, probablemente, pero va a fallar mejor. Así, poquito a poquito, little by little. Al final ya va a decir, no, hombre, ya me puedo todas las estructuras y ya sé decirlas, ¿ok? So, I mean, that happened with me, you know. So, y yo también pasé por donde ustedes están, así que si yo pude, ustedes también pueden, ¿sí? Um, no, yo les voy a decir, a mi Dios no me hizo inteligente, a mi Dios me hizo dedicado, así va. Me hizo apasionado. ¿eh? Entonces, ah, uh, so that's the thing. I mean, you know, just dedicate time. That's what I can tell you. Um, cuando están aprendiendo, chicos, de verdad, lo único que les, les puedo ayudar es dedíquenle un poquito de tiempo. Traten de estudiar un poquito todos los días. Y no es que, ah, que van a agarrar el libro y los cuadernos y, pff, o sea, así como bien atareado. No, tranquilos, ok. Pero poco a poco, you're going to get it. Little by little, you'll get it. Okay, so that's the phrase. I, this phrase, I thought it was a very nice phrase, actually, you know. And, like, we could uh, have a little conversation about that. And thank you, guys, for for your opinions. So, Aaron, tell us, what do you think? Never stop trying. Practice right. To perfection. Mm -hmm. Never stop trying, you know. Never Practice. stop trying. Practice to perfection. Practice, right, right. That's exactly what it is. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that's that's pretty good, you know. And that's what we have to keep in mind, guys. You know, at the end, 
is like we'll make mistakes probably you know but let's try you know let's keep on trying that's what we have to do all right okay so all right let's see okay guys so is there any other opinion no okay if there isn't any other opinion i'm gonna call the attendance right now guys if you're here you can say i'm here or present and then i'm gonna know you're here so i don't know mar there you are i'm here i'm here ada lisette Okay, Ana Beatriz. I'm here. Thank you. Uh, Ana Esmeralda. Present. Okay, give me a second. I just don't want to have a pain on my neck, so I'm going to move this here. Okay, cool. Now I'll see it here. All right, then let's go with Ana Noemi. Okay, let's go with Carlos Vladimir. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Consuelo del Rosario. I'm here. I appreciate it. Um, let's see, Elida. Maritza. Flor de Maria. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Uh, let's go with Jasmine Magdalena. Present. Appreciate it. Joanna Guadalupe. Present. Thank you. Uh, Jonathan Alexander. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Jose Ismael. I'm here. Jose Salvador. I'm here. Thank you so much. Let's go with Catherine Tatiana. I am here. Kenny Guadalupe. Present. Uh, Marilyn Yvonne. Okay, Marlene Concepcion. Marvin Omar. Okay, let's see, Nidia. Nixia. I'm here. Okay. Present. Thank you. I got both of you here. Awesome. Omar Luzardo. Present. Rebecca Beatriz. Present. Right. Uh, Reina Lisette. Okay. Let's go with uh, Rosario Cristabel. Present teacher. Okay. Teacher, este, mire, mire, este, acá donde yo vivo, pienso que está lloviendo. Este, si se viene más fuerte la lluvia, me voy a tener que desconectar. Este, este. Ah, Pero, claro. Ya le estoy comunicando. Sí, sí. Y si le tocase que hacer eso, también trate de avisarle a Andy, ¿ok? Que es por un problema de eso. Bueno. En el grupo de WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So, thank you. Wilber Enrique. I'm here. Thank you. Jesenia Abigail. Present. Okay, and Selena. I'm here. Thank you. I appreciate that, guys. Thank you so much. Okay, so with that being said, uh, we are going to continue, guys, with what we were talking last class. So let me ask you, what do you remember about the last class? Mm hmm about yesterday. What do you remember? What were we talking about? WH. WH what? Present continuous. WH questions with the present continuous. Yes, that's exactly what we were talking about. And so we were talking about the structure, you know, what you need to, uh, sorry, what you need to follow in order to make a question like that, you know, so that's pretty much what we were talking about, right? And you guys remember that. Okay, now, this is what we are going to do right here. And it says, uh, answer the questions about the pictures. And this is 
this is actually what we were, it's kind of what we were doing yesterday. And so it says, for example, what's Marcos wearing? Okay, let's look for Marcos. Where is Marcos, Marcos, Marcos? Where is it? Where is Marcos? Okay, and then you will be able to see that Marcos is the one, oops, sorry. It's just getting bigger. I don't want that. Okay, and then you can see that Marcos is the one that is right here. So then we can say, Marcos what? What is Marcos wearing? Mm -hmm. What would be the right answer? What would be the right answer? He's wearing, He's wearing a pajama. He's wearing a pajama. He's wearing... Which one? This one, there, the one, two, or three? Pajamas. Pajamas, yes. He's wearing pajamas. Mm -hmm. Um. <laughs> Let's be careful. We are not going to say he is wearing mm -hmm. a pajamas. Mm -mm. Why not? Porque a significa uno o una. Entonces, si dijésemos así, estaríamos diciendo como él está usando una pijamas. So it doesn't make sense. So yeah, he was wearing pajamas. Ah, uh -huh, yes. So we don't need to use a, you know, we just don't need it. So then we say he's wearing pajamas. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do something. I'm going to give you three minutes, les voy a dar unos tres minutos para que puedan revisar esto uh, y podamos, después lo vamos a revisar juntos. Vamos a, um, para que ustedes se aseguren que tengan la respuesta correcta, okay? So you make sure you have the right answer. And then we will check it together. So I'll give you three minutes, okay? Three minutes. Yo sé que para este momento probablemente ya lo hicieron, pero les doy ahí unos tres minutos para que revisen las um, respuestas. So you guys check the answers. Okay. And if you have a question, you can tell me now, you know, it's a good time where we can discuss a few things actually. All right. If you finish, just raise your virtual hand. Okay. If you finish, raise your virtual hand, please. Ok, Nidia es finish. Nidia ha terminado. Si ya terminaron los demás, pueden levantar su manita virtual, please. All right. Thank you so much. Ok, good. Thank you, guys. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, let's see. Nidia, help us with number three, please. Was having breakfast? Who's? Who's? Mm -hmm. Who's having breakfast? Mm hmm. Who's having breakfast? Sue and Tom. Sue and Tom? What? Yes. Sue and Tom what? Mm -hmm. Keep going, continue. Mm -hmm. So Sue and Tom? Mm, pero solamente eso, yo solamente con... eso le puse. Ajá. Sí, pero puede ser salió. una respuesta completa. Sue and Tom are Sue and Tom having are having breakfast. Breakfast. Mm -hmm. breakfast. Mm -hmm. So Sue and Tom are having breakfast. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's better if you if you say like the complete uh, answer because you practice more. You know that's the reason why. But if you just say Sue and Tom, it's okay. People will understand. Okay, number four, let's go, Nixia, please. What, Celia? What? What's Celia wearing? Uh huh. She's wearing a sweater. 
she's wearing a suit. A suit. Suit. Mm -hmm. She's wearing a suit. Okay. Number five, uh, Rebecca Beatrice. Repeat, please. Number five. Uh, James and Amand are having lunch because it's noon. Oh, okay. And what's the question? Can you read the question, please? Uh, why are why are James and then having lunch? Mm -hmm. And so that the answer is James and Ant are having lunch because it's it's noon. Right. Mm -hmm. So cuando les preguntan why, les decía ayer, when somebody asks you why, ten, es que es por qué, le preguntan, tenemos que responder con, tenemos que de alguna forma dar la razón. Entonces decimos, James and Annie are having lunch because, porque es uh, mediodía, because it's noon, right? So siempre que ustedes les pregunten why, usted sabe que tiene que responder con because. Puede usarla al principio o así como acá, pero siempre hay que usar because, all right? Mm -hmm. Number six, that's going to be for uh, Consuelo, please. Uh, the four or six. Uh, uh, sorry, that will be number number six. Just read read the question, please. Where is Andre working? Huh? He is working in Moscow. He is working in Moscow, right? Yes. That's what it is. All right, guys. And so you just have to remember uh, that uh, whenever somebody asks you a WH question, you actually have to um, give more information. You are not going to say yes or no. You will give more information, okay? So that's what it is. Um, any questions so far? Preguntas hasta el momento? Questions so far? No? No questions? We good? Okay, no problem. All right, then let's go to our next topic then. It says, by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussion, um, for discussing, I'm sorry, different activities okay by the end of this class you will learn vocabulary for discuss discussing different activities and that's what we're going to do okay so that's basically what we're doing right here and it says uh does the word power activity he's playing tennis right we're just saying the things uh well things that are happening in the moment we are actually using present continuous to talk about this. So let me play the video for you guys. So you guys listen and if it is needed, you can repeat, okay? Just listen and repeat if needed. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll become familiar with vocabulary in order to express activities. Let's start by listening and repeating. He's playing tennis. He's riding a bike. She's running. He's swimming. She's taking a walk. They're dancing. She's driving. They're going to the movies. He's shopping. She's reading. She's studying. He's watching television. Now, your task is to describe the actions from the pictures and form statements in the present continuous. For example, he's playing tennis. She's riding a bike. You should get creative and change the he or she for the names of people that you know. For example, Mike is 
explain tennis. Mary is uh, riding a bike. After you complete this exercise, please share your work in our discussion forums. All right. And that's pretty much what it is, guys. So these are activities, like activities that you probably do uh, during the weekend, during the week, or every day. You know, so those are activities. Now, let me just get there. It should be getting there in a second. All right, finally, I'm here. Okay, so it says playing tennis, ride a bike, run, swim, take a walk, dance, drive, go to the movies, shop, reading, study, and watch television. Those are activities uh, that you probably do, like daily activities, I will say. But uh, what we do is that we actually, you know, like... Um, express them in a present continuous. For example, we have play tennis, okay? Okay, so play tennis. Now, let me ask you something. What's the verb right here? ¿Cuál es el verbo? What's the verb in this two? Play. Play, play. okay. Play. So the base form is play. What about if I wanna make it the present continuous form? Play. Play, right? Plain. Now let's make a sentence. Can you give me guys a subject? Um, mm -hmm. he. Okay, he. What goes next? To make an affirmative sentence uh, in the present continuous. He, he is playing. Right. He is playing tennis. Tennis. Right? Uh, oops, my bad. He's playing tennis. Boom. That's it, right? What about for ride a bike? Mm -hmm. Who can give me that sentence? I think. Let's use they. They or they're riding. Riding. Okay. And now you see, we had the verb ride and we change it to riding okay you see we got ride riding why well remember that when the verb ends in the and letter e right we will remove it vamos a quitarla we will remove it and we are going to add ing right remember that rule so recuerdan de esa regla de ayer? It's, it's this one, okay? About the spelling, right? That's what it is. Okay. Now, let's see. I'm going to choose Omar Luzardo. Give me one affirmative sentence, affirmative sentence with run. How can you make it? Let's try. Tratemos. Let's try. Repeat. Uh -huh. Repeat. Can you just give one sentence using run with the present continuous? Like the examples I just did here, like this ones. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. He is running. He is running. 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 Mm -hmm. He is, let's change the, we'll say Marco. Marco, que todavía es he, ¿verdad? Marco. Is running. Is that running. okay, look, guys? Running. Uh -huh. Si lo escribo así, chicos, ¿está bien? ¿Está mal? ¿O qué dicen ustedes? Falta una N. Ah, oh, okay. Good job. Uh -huh. So, Marco is running. Running. I... Running. Mm -hmm. Ra con, like como con A. Running. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Running. Why? Because of the rule. Because of the rule we talked about yesterday. If the verb, if the last, if the last three letters of the verb ends in R, in this case, like consonant, vowel consonant, what are we going to do? We will double the last consonant, right? And this one is consonant, vowel consonant, right? Runs. Okay, 
Omar Luzardo, choose the next classmate. Okay. Uh, Catherine Tatiana. Okay. Um, play tennis. Oh, let's continue with the next one. The with the swim. Mm -hmm. Mm. Continuamos con la, con la que sigue. Mm -hmm. Can you hear me? Yes, Kathy, we can hear you. Okay. And Melissa is swimming in the pool. Melissa is swimming in the pool. Uh, double M or not double M? Yes, double M. Okay, That's cool. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Choose the next classmate, please. Ana Beatriz. Hi. Yep. He. To take a walking. Mm, let's remember the structure. Okay, this is an example here. Taking a walk. Mm -hmm. So? She is walking. She? Teacher? Uh huh. In this, in this word, and in this picture, and we have two verbs. No. Mm -hmm. Mm, okay, no. I got it. Mm -hmm. Yes and no, because this walk is not acting as a verb, it's acting as, as a noun. Aquí ya no significa caminar, sino caminata. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is oh. yeah, she's taking a walk. She is taking a walk. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. She is oops my bad she is taking a walk now Catherine just one thing the main bear will be the first verb okay uh, because this one is not acting as a verb so this is the one that we that is giving us the action acá esto nos está dando la acción so therefore this is the verb okay all right all right uh Joanna Guadalupe, help us with the next one, dance. They are dancing tonight. They are dancing tonight, okay. They, they who? They who? Cambiémosle los nombres para hacerlo más interesante. Ya no digamos they, hay que darle el nombre a ellos. Ajá. Tom and Anna mm -hmm. dancing tonight. Mm, repeat, mm -hmm. please. All right. Okay, yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dancing tonight. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Repeat the sentence, please. Tom and Anna are dancing tonight. Are dancing tonight. Good job. All right, uh, choose the next classmate, please. Uh, Jose Ismael. Mm -hmm. We drive. This drive. Que es una pregunta la que tengo que hacer. No, affirmative sentence. If you want to make a question, it's okay. But if not, just just an affirmative sentence. Affirmative, affirmative will be okay, like the ones we have here. She, she is playing um, drive, driver. Repeat, please. She is she is a driver 
let's change drive for the ing form okay drive driving driving so repeat the sentence please she is driving good job mm -hmm. she is driving maria is driving okay now wilbur help us with the next one go to the movies Uh, they, they, they are go, go to the movie. They are go to the movies? Uh-huh. Let's, the verb is go. And we will uh, say going. Going. Uh, they are going to the movie? Yes. They are going to the movies. Mm-hmm. Now let's see shopping. Let's go with Flor de Maria. Help us with shopping, please. Um, he is shopping. He is shopping. Yes, that's a good one. He is shopping. Thank you. Now let's go with uh, Jesenia Abigail. Help us with read, please. He is reader. He is reader. Mm, not reader. Remember, we have read, and then we have to change it to reading. Mm -hmm. So he is reading. He is reading. Yes, good job. Good job. All right. Uh, Jose, Jose, Jose Salvador, can you help us with number, uh, well, sorry, with a study? Uh -huh. Once again, please. She's out studying. Mm, I wasn't able to hear you, but it's like a study. Then we will say starting, okay? Now this is an exception, as I told you last time. We will remove this one and we will change it for ing. So we will say she is starting. Mm -hmm. And the last one, watch television. So that's gonna be for Aaron. I am watching television. Good job, I am watching television. Hey, pay attention to the class. Don't watch television right now. <laughs> no, está viendo tel. Puedes atención. No, my daughter. Okay. Is, is watching okay. television. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Good. All right. Awesome. That's what it is. Okay. Now, guys, as you can see, you just have to remember. Remember to change the verb from the base form to the present continuous form. Play, playing, ride, riding, dry, driving, go, going, read, reading, study, studying. Okay? You have to change that, okay? And remember the structure. The subject, verb to be, the verb in present continuous, which is ing, you know, and the complement. That's it. All right? So that's what you guys have to remember, all right? Questions. Questions about this, guys. Mm -hmm. Yes, no, could it be? Solo una consulta. Y la regla de la doble consonante se da en todos los verbos o solo en algunos? Mm, let me think. Um, it should be in all of them, actually. It should be in all of them. Uh, if... I can't think about any exception right now. Oh, yes, there is one exception. Uh, no, no, no. About that one, no. You will be actually with all one, all of them. So as long as it follows the rule, um, like if it ends in consonant, vowel, consonant, then yes, you will have to apply it. I can think about any exception right now. So yes, it will be with all of the verbs. Let me see. All right. 
a lot of people believe that you you have to say write and then you have to say writing but no this is not like that okay so it's just one p algunas personas di, eh, se equivocan en esto o bueno se tiende a pensar que writing iría con double t pero no it's just with one t write writing okay it doesn't finish it doesn't follow the rule actually but that's what it is now well, about this rule here, there is an exception. De esto sí hay excepciones. Por ejemplo, tenemos el verbo be, ¿ok? Entonces nosotros, el be, que es ser o estar, ¿verdad? No vamos a decir being, ¿ok? Uh, well, actually, sorry, my bad. We are not going to say, we're not going to say being, ¿ok? Mm -mm. We don't say this. We have to say be in. So this is an exception. This is una excepción. I can think about this exception right now. So you are not going to say being, but you will say be in. So in this one, aquí esta es una excepción que no removemos la E, sino que la respetamos y solo agregamos a ing. In this one. About this one, about the doubling, the, um, the last consonant, being honest, I can't think about any exception right now. But it should apply with all of the verbs. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, any other question, guys? No? Yes, could it be? Okay, let's do something. Cause then... Okay, cool. All right. Now, let's do something right here. Let's go to the next activity and it says, what's Maria doing? Listen to, to the sound and respond each numeral. Follow the example. So I'm going to play the audio guys. I need you to pay attention and listen. What's Mari doing? What's Mary doing? So then you have to get the, the answer, okay? Um. I'm going to play the audio one time, and then if you need time to do it yourself and the platform, you can do it. Answer questions about each sound. One. Two. Okay, what does sound like? Como que sonaba eso, la, la, el último sonido. Spinning. Spinning. Uh -huh. So we can say, Mary is He's... swimming, right? Boom, and that's it. So let me play it one more time, okay? Let's continue. Answer questions about each sound. One. Two. Three. Seven. Eight. 
Okay. So did you get all of them, guys? Mm -hmm. Now, yeah. if you have done this, can you raise your virtual hand if you finish that, please? If you got it. I mean, I, I know that you must have it done by today because you were working on that, but okay. Los que ya lo tengan completo pueden levantar su manita. Si no, les puedo dar un par de minutos para que puedan completarlos en la plataforma, if you want. Ok, cool. Now, let's see. Nixia, what is number one? Can you tell me what's number one? She's leaving. She's driving. Driving. Good. Thank you. She's driving. All right. What about number three? Uh, Nixia. Is, Sorry, guys, it just started raining. Um, if you guys can speak louder, and I will speak louder, okay? If you can hear me, tell me, teacher, I can hear you, okay? Repetition question, All right. So, okay. So, number three. I don't. I don't want to. Hear. Give me one minute. Let me get my headset. And what number is? Is number four. She's she's in. I just didn't find my head. Can you guys hear me? Yes. 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 Okay. So, number... Catherine, help us with number four, please. First, and with the number four is... In television, all right. Okay, guys. Um, actually, I'm just having a little problem at listening right here. We'll check this in a minute, but now we're going to do something. We are going to go through the next uh exercise. Uh, basically the last part of this, okay? And so we're going to come back to that one, okay? But for now, we're going to work on this. And... Okay. And so it says, in this class, the students will read an online, online chat and develop skills in reading for details. So that's what we have to do. And so it says, uh, reading friends across the continent. So let me play the audio, and the video, sorry. And you guys uh, listen and read at the same time, okay? Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll read an online chat and develop skills in reading for details. So let's get started. Reading. Friends across a continent. 
Meg Martin and Kathy O'Brien chat online almost every day. Meg is an exchange student from the U.S. She is studying in Mexico. Kathy is in the U.S. Hi there. Hi, Meg. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm sitting on my bed with my laptop computer. I'm doing my homework. What are you working on? I'm writing. I'm writing an essay for Spanish class. Can you chat? For a minute, where are you? I'm in an internet cafe with my friend Carmen. I'm having coffee and she's reading a magazine. How is your family? Mm. All fine. My father's died mowing the lawn. My mother. Where's your brother? John. He's playing soccer. In the park. Oh, wait. My mother is home. She's calling me. I have to go. Bye. Hey, guys. No? Yeah? Let's go check. No. Uh, something on, on Zoom, but I don't really have it right now. Okay. So as you can see, guys, we are talking about it's it's a chat conversation. Your chat, WhatsApp, like you're playing on your email, something like that. So uh what I'm going to do right now is the following. Okay, let me just go here. Okay, this is the conversation. Read the read the conversation. It's this question. Who is Writing an essay. Write an essay. M or Kathy? Who is writing an essay? So I'll give you uh three minutes so you guys work. All right. If you finish, you can bring it. Para terminar, puede levantar su mano virtual. Okay, thank you. I see Catherine finishes already. Okay, I see Nancy as she's done. Maybe as well, Jonathan. Okay, just a couple of more minutes, guys.
the second. Catherine, okay. help us with number one, please. Miko? Yes, Catherine, help. Let me just see this right here. There you go. No. Okay, and the first one is cake. You're muted, your phone. I'm sorry, I wasn't able to repeat that. Kate O'Brien. Okay. All right. Um, it's actually just to work on this one, like to answer the questions, right? Yes. The yeah. Okay. Uh, so who is writing an essay? Based on this, who is writing an essay? Kate. Kate is writing an essay. Kate, Kate o is writing an essay. She says, I'm writing an essay, right? Pretty good. Uh, who is having coffee? Aaron. Okay. Um, Meg. Megan Martinez. Megan Martin is uh, having coffee. Having coffee. Yeah. And that's pretty much what you guys have to do on this, okay? Now, it's time actually, guys, but before I let you go, no sé si tienen alguna pregunta, chicos, sobre las actividades o algo antes de que los deje ir. Any question that you have before I let you go? Me. Uh huh. Tell me. Uh, okay, it's not about the class, but it is about you. And okay. I feel um, grateful with you because you are learn um, a lot of things. And that's it. Thank oh. for. I <laughs> know. Oh, thank you. Thank you for saying that. I mean, I'm. I, I know. I, I'm a little crazy sometimes, but I try to do funny things so you don't get bored. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Catherine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Oh. What was it? What was that again, Catherine? Okay, I wanted to know if you are your our teacher in the next level. Oh, I don't know, Kathy. To be honest, I don't know. Um, I don't know if they will give me this group or if they will give me another group. I will be honest. They they just they just don't tell us. <laughs> okay. Well, well, but thank you for your comment. And you know, if I don't see you next level, we'll see you probably, um, you know, later, sooner or later. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. All Paul. right. Flor de Maria, tell me. Eh, parece que 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 es relacionado con lo que le acaba de decir a Catherine. Este, como yo soy nueva en, en esta modalidad, ¿verdad? Eh, al te, hoy terminamos un módulo, eh, usted va a continuar con nosotros y eh, cuándo nos van a avisar por el, que el próximo módulo. Normalmente les avisan en el grupo, le mentiría si sí, le digo la fecha exacta, pero normalmente dejan como una semana de por medio. Uh, uh -huh. Pero este sí, ahí... Eh, no, no, la verdad no sé, les digo si yo sería su, su maestro en la siguiente clase, probablemente no, eh, porque sí, creo que sí alternan, como van cambiando. Entonces, that's what I think. Uh -huh. Entonces, muchas gracias por todo y he aprendido <laughs> un montón con usted. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you for saying uh -huh. that. Thank you. Gracias por todo. Bueno, oh, buenas you're noches. very welcome. Y, bueno, thank you, teacher. You're welcome, guys. You're welcome. Y solo recordarles ahí, chicos, sigan eh, como chequeando, trabajando en la plataforma igual, y ustedes lle llevan un buen camino, solo como decíamos ahora en la frase, sigan tratando, cada vez que se equivoquen se van a equivocar mejor, ya van a ver. <ríe> De verdad, o sea, let's keep on trying, ¿ok? 
Thank so, you, Clara, Blessings. You're welcome. Blessings. You're welcome. Thank you, guys. Nice to meet you guys, and I hope I can see you later, okay? Espero verlos luego. Si no es en el siguiente nivel, tal vez en el siguiente. Oh, something like that, okay? So, thank you, teacher. Bye bye, guys. Take care. Bye bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. Hello. Good night, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. And good night. Bye. 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 bye.